Well, got to start this truck, get it cleaned up. It's covered in freaking dirt. It hasn't been washed in like a week. So we're going to get this truck all started up here. And after we get it started up, I got to show you something on the 7.3. like that. Here's what I wanted to run by you about the 7.3. So we just picked this truck up literally yesterday and looks great, runs great, drives great. One of the cleanest, if not the cleanest 7.3 I've ever laid eyes on in person. Like I know I've seen like pictures online and stuff, but you never really know. But like cleanest 7.3 I've ever seen in person. Um, super, super nice truck. This isn't the first 7.3 that I've owned. The first 7.3 that I ever bought was actually this one. It was this old body style 7.3, a four door long bed. The thing was a monster. It was up on 40s, we put 40s on it. Uh, 22 by 14s, I mean, it was just an absolute beast. But that was one of our giveaway trucks from a while ago, so we don't actually have it. So my question for you guys is, what wheel and tire setup do we go with on this? Because I know I kind of was debating, what do I do? I kind of want to go with the 22. I thought maybe I'll go polished or, you know, forged, or maybe I'll go black. The only downside to the polished slash forged look, or chrome even, they will pit. So when you do have salt on the roads and stuff, they will pit and kind of chew at the integrity of the wheel. I don't really like that idea, um, but as long as you keep your stuff clean and nice, like as long as we don't really get it in salt and stuff, it should be fine. It's not really that big of a problem, at least not around here lately because we hardly get any snow, so they hardly salt. But when they do, unless you clean your wheels right away, it'll be a problem. I'm really not sure 100% what I want to do yet, but I was like, oh man, or would this be a good look? Was 18 by 12s and i know there's going to be some people that are like 18s dude like the new thing is like go huge or go home i know that but it would be like the difference between like i know a lot of guys like deep dish wheels and i know there's a lot of guys that like a lot of rubber on the tire let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below 18 by 12 or 22 by 12 and comment whether you would want that to be chrome or black comments with the most likes is going to be taken into consideration the most i didn't actually get on video this truck when we picked it up yesterday, but guys, there's a lot we gotta go over in terms of what they did with this um, over the last couple of days that it's been gone from us. After that whole like, you know, hood coming up and getting the chips on the hood and stuff like that, that, you know, we had to deal with at that shop, I took the truck to another shop. I said, okay, this shop said I didn't need any front end parts, but I'm like, the steering is loose as crap, which it's a second gen. I'm like, steering was super loose. I'm like, it pulls a little bit when you brake. I'm like, I just feel like the front end, it, first off, it needs to be a line okay for these big wheels and tires and I'm like I just feel like it needs some kind of front end part so just look it through tell me what you think they said yeah we put in a new steering box a new I think they said a new track bar they put in a new um, steering shaft they did I think brakes a whole bunch of stuff all kinds of stuff alignment essentially it was like $2,500 worth of stuff in front end parts and labor and everything of course labor included now this thing I mean look no hands straight as an arrow I mean this is just absolutely unreal how good this truck drives now because I was telling him I'm like listen this thing like the steering wheels bouncing around I'm like stuff like that I'm like I mean I've owned a lot of second gens and I've had that happen most of them are like that but I'm like there's just got to be a little bit more that needs done than this other shop is saying they're like yeah we'll look through it and they're like uh yeah you got to replace this 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 and this and then you should be good I'm like okay do it you know what I mean I don't want somebody getting a truck and then the thing doesn't steer right or brake right or whatever so if you can't tell I'm pretty impressed we're gonna go over all the new parts and kind of show you what they did underneath in just a bit. Let me show you something on the interior. We got our new sun visors in all leather stitched up i actually decided to go with the brown to kind of match the ceiling that's kind of what i wanted to do on that we've got the passenger side in and driver's side of course yeah interiors uh finally looking up a little bit better we got new door panels coming in for the driver and passenger side still debating whether or not i should attempt to have them leather wrapped or just keep them like the new version of this cloth and just you know call it good and go with that, but I'm gonna have to talk to the upholstery guy and see what his turnaround time is on that, because I don't wanna take the door panels up to him, and he's like, oh yeah, I can get them done, but it'll be a month. Because obviously, 
the giveaway is going to be over well before that and then you know the winner wouldn't be able to get the truck white right away and they'd have to wait a long time let's get into what happened with the front end stuff so you guys know like what all was replaced and why it drives so stinking good now so i'm actually going to pop the hood here first my bad just closed the door thinking i wasn't going to show anything so if you look under the hood you'll see we have a brand new steering shaft if you can see down in there you can see all those nice new shiny parts if it'll focus right there um, we got a brand new steering shaft that goes all the way down through obviously to the steering box if you come up underneath here you're going to see the brand new steering box oh, yeah right there so the brand new steering box we've got this bracket over here the brand new bracket on this side brand new brand new i don't know what bar that is track bar goes across um i don't know all kinds of linkage and bars and stuff. I really don't remember everything they said they did. All I know is they said that they replaced a whole bunch of stuff on the front end to make sure that this thing drove like a Cadillac and it literally does. Like it drives so stinking smooth going down the road. How many second gens do you know on 14 wides that you can go down the highway 70 miles an hour with no hands on the wheel on a straight road and it's just gonna go straight with no movement in the wheel? I don't know many, maybe you guys know a lot more straight driving second gens with super nice tight steering than I do. But for me, at least all the like 10 that I've owned, I've never had one drive that good. And I have had most of them. I've had like all front end rebuilds and all that stuff. The only thing that I can't say I've done with most of them is replacing like the steering box and steering shaft and stuff like that. I had no idea just how crucial that really is. Cause like a truck like this with these big wheels and tires, it can pull you side to side. And if you don't have that stuff, as well as the front end parts, then you've got a nice front end, but then your steering components to control the front end are still junk. So it's kind of one of those things now that I'm probably gonna pay more attention to that and make sure that we have front end parts and steering components replaced on these trucks if we do any more like second gens and first gens and stuff. That really is a real game changer and this thing drives amazing. We gotta go right now because we have to go pick up Frosty. Oh boy. Look who's back. So we're gonna move the regular cab out and move Frosty in and go over what happened. Here's Frosty behind us. Those of you who are new to the channel, this is the truck we call Frosty. It was in a recent giveaway of ours and the winner had the option between a 2015 Tradesman or a 1996 five-speed 12 valve with $5,000 cash. He picked the 12 valve. And let me kind of show you around this truck and explain why it took so long and everything that they did to this truck. Come around here and you look at the truck, you're gonna notice a few things underneath the front end here. First off, they did a dual steering stabilizer system. And there's some new brackets and painting on the axle and some other stuff. Uh, let's go and look under the hood here. If you look under the hood here, you're gonna notice a few different things. They took the intake horn off and they painted that just because they had to take it off anyways and they paint off a lot of the stuff that they take off. They painted some of these lines, they painted the fuel lines, they did all new 90 horse injectors, they did new head studs, ARP head studs on the truck as well. They went through the whole fuel system, they did everything, they went through the AFC housing there and they did some stuff, I don't know what they did in there, if they put a different fuel plate in there or whatever. I know they said that they inspected it and then Whoever had had the trip last did something with the fuel plate to where they're like, this thing was just not running good because of that. So we went there and we did it the way we thought was best. And then they went through the whole fuel system all the way back to the tank, did a whole bunch of other stuff. What is some other stuff? I know I see some new springs and levers and other jazz down in there. I don't know what all they actually did under there, which is um, kind of crazy because uh, they just, they did so much stuff to the truck that it was kind of hard to, Remember all of it? They put a brand new starter in the truck. Um, why did they put a brand new starter in the truck? Because after I'd gotten the truck and I put the new batteries in it and it had been really, really cold at that time, after starting up the truck a few times, driving it around, I had taken the truck up to Devin to do the front leveling kit on it and he was like, hey man, look at your starter. It's got a crack all the way down the side. Literally cracked down the starter. And I'd never seen that before. He said, how does that happen? He's like, too many super hard cold starts or weak batteries or whatever, and the truck has to work extra hard. He's like, sometimes those things can just crack over time. I mean, it can just happen. I also know that they did put new gaskets on the valve covers 
front to back, of course, once you take those off. They also took the head off and they said that they put a new gasket on the head and it was kind of a weird scenario because the truck, he said, it didn't blow the head. He said, but they took the head off just to inspect a bunch of stuff because I had to go through the whole thing. And he said that they took the head off, they inspected it and they noticed a real small hairline crack on part of one of the gaskets in the first cylinder. Um, so he said that what they did was they just put a whole new gasket on that and inspected all that stuff as well He said that they checked all the cylinders with a bore scope But he said that nothing had any scarring there was no scratches or gashes or any you know odd wear on the engine He said everything looked good. So they pieced it back together. Just put the new gasket in there They did do a new pulley and a new belt on the truck because if you look down through here You'll see. I might have to go to this side to show you. They put a new green belt on the truck because the belt that was on it before, it was just one of the factory style belts and pulley. And the problem with that on this truck was it was so war that it was just squeaking so bad. Like the truck would just idle and just be like a loud high pitched screech the whole time when the truck's running. I'm like, okay, needs a new belt, needs a new pulley system. You know, they did the headsets, they did the new head gasket because there's a hairline crack in it. And so they did that whole thing. They did obviously a full service when they did that. And the thing runs and drives amazing now. Super excited. And before we end out this video, I wanna go over a couple things. The 7.3 truck. So I already asked you guys in the video what you guys think on the wheel style we should go with on that truck. So let me know down in the comments below. Pretty much the option is 22 by 12, chrome slash polish or black, or 18 by 12 and go with Lots more sidewall, way more meat on the bone, so to speak. Take your pick, comment down below. Most likes is the one that we will get. We ordered a whole bunch of stuff today. There should be a huge pile of stuff coming in for that truck, and that truck's gonna get a drastic transformation, just like the second gen Longhorn, except the second gen Longhorn needed like paint and body work and all that stuff. It doesn't need that, but in terms of like cool and wow factor, that truck's gonna get a lot of super cool stuff done. So I'm super excited about that. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, if you have not done so yet, to enter to win the second gen Longhorn, the 95 five speed manual with $5,000 cash, Every $5 is five entries to win right now. So capitalize on the opportunity, get entered. You guys are down to the last 12 days to enter to win that truck with $5,000 cash. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.